Hello everyone, Sterling White here. It is always great to see you. Those of you on the YouTube, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me where I'm going to be going over updates on the 80 unit that I acquired. My team also, because there's always a team involved, just not myself. Uh, that is in Louisville, Kentucky. I love pronouncing it Louisville, but it's actually Louisville. So just a couple of updates that have been going on is as you, I would recommend going back and viewing that original video. Uh, so you'll be able to see uh, some of the previous, uh, the previous stage of the community. But right now, some updates that have gone on is that there has been a painting of all the doors still doing some replacing of all of the windows but right now we're going to go ahead and walk through one of the units uh, that is currently going through renovations so there may be a little bit of a uh, construction that's going on around here and you may see some guys in here too so we'll just go ahead and head to the back right here all right We'll go into one of these units back here. Excuse us guys, we're just doing some filming. Yeah, so the first thing to be attended to is this retro carpet that you see on the renovations and the upgrades that's gonna be done to this unit. So in particular, in the bedrooms, those are gonna be carpeted. And then uh, throughout everywhere else is just gonna be the vinyl plank flooring. And some upgrades have already been completed, uh, such as gray on the base here and then white on the trim. And the painting of the, uh, cat, the, the closet doors, I almost didn't get that. <laughs> and then in the kitchen, have resurfaced the cabinetry and then replaced the countertops. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the bathroom here quick. So this has not been attended to just yet, but you'll be able to see some of those pictures of those newly renovated units as well. Uh, not even able to turn a light on just yet. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna jump into some of the amenities that has been, that we have added to the community. So uh, go ahead and come in this direction. Gotta watch my step here. So what I want to mention, uh, since the, uh, the amount of units that has been upgraded to the new standard is uh, 55 out of the total 80. So as those uh, leases expire, that's when those we plan to go in and make those uh, renovations to the older units. And then in addition to that is the rents have been pushed up a total of about 90 to 95 dollars. So formerly a uh, one bedroom was 500 dollars. It is currently 595 and the two bedrooms were about an average of $600 and now $695. And on top of that, billing the residents for the water usage as well, $25 for the one beds and then $35 uh, for the two beds. So let's go ahead, here's the office. Formerly the doors are actually green and have switched it to orange. So here's the laundry area that hey, you see, and this is through a third party provider in which there is a contract that's signed with them. So uh, there is a split of the uh, revenues that is produced. It's just been my personal uh, experience. Well, not personal experience, but what I've learned from others is instead of bringing own, our own laundry equipment in and having that as a, another thing to focus efforts on, such as if one happens to go out, then have to bring one of your maintenance guys off of a job to make those repairs. It's just best to outsource it. That way they take care of it. Normally what, what you'll get is they will give you a commission check up front for them providing the laundry. And then of the uh, revenue that comes, the profits that come each and every month, you get a split of that as well. It just depends on your provider. It could be 60, 40, it could be 50, 50, it could be 70, 30, that really does vary. So let's go into my fair, favorite area, which is up here. Uh, this is the, la uh, not the laundry, laundry we just walked through that. This is the office uh, that our current community manager is on. And this is why I love the economies of scale uh, with uh, 75 plus units or the, the large, mint size, the larger uh, apartments is you can be able to have uh, staff members that are on site 
So this specific one, there is a community manager and also a maintenance guy that is on staff as well. So this is where the magic happens. This is the uh, on-site fitness center that was added. I'm gonna get some chest in right here. All right, now let's go ahead and finish off with the lessons here. So firstly is that can never be too conservative or just essentially expect the unexpected. So with this specific project, had a third party management company and three months in, it did not work out. So the types of things that we encountered was the the timetable in which they were completing the renovations was very slow. The costs were higher than expected. And then there was really no transparency with what was getting done. So ended up cutting ties uh, and ended up bringing it, bringing it in house. So that caused some delays with uh, the timelines on the construction side. So able to quickly adjust and I give kudos to our team with being able to uh, stay on top of things. Shout out to you guys. The second is follow up. I always mention this consistently because this has been an absolute game changer for myself. And what this specific deal is, the first time I uh, reached out to the owner, actually it took seven attempts just to get in contact with the decision maker. And they weren't interested up front, so it took an additional four to five months for them to not be interested to then being interested. And then it took an additional five months to actually close on it through the due diligence, the inspections, uh, et cetera. But it was well worthwhile the wait. Uh, and then last but not least is there's still renovations that need to be completed. Uh, so still just have to have uh, always raise enough cash to take care of those improvements. There's been a deal uh, previously or deals well, just one deal in particular that I did not raise enough money for to take care of the improvements. So that's one thing I always want to allude to everyone is to always raise enough cash to where you have more uh, essentially to be able to, to, to take care of those uh, repairs because it's better if you're using someone, if you're taking a path of using, uh, leveraging other people's money and investors bringing them on board, then it's best to be able to provide them their cash back uh, because you overfunded versus uh, going back to them and asking for additional cash and money to invest with you because you didn't raise enough. So uh, what needs to still be completed is the parking lot. There's a delay on that. It happened to get colder. So the pavement companies uh, close out and then also the windows uh, to be repaired uh, as well. Not repaired, but replaced because it is older. And then lastly, to finish the uh, last units that need to be renovated, just have to wait for those residents to move out uh, and then go in there, uh, make the necessary changes, uh, improvements, and then be able to re get the additional increased rent. So those are the lessons and just some updates on this uh, community that is the 80 units in Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, I know it's not pronounced Louisville, but I love saying that Louisville, Kentucky. So I'll keep you updated as uh, things keep progressing and just sharing my experiences uh, in this journey because uh, I'm not perfect by any means and I'm still learning and I want to share those learnings with you, the successes, the good, the bad, the ugly, etc. So I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great one.